Thank you for joining us for On Call for All Kids. Today we're talking about a very common pediatric virus, the croup. We'll be talking about what croup is and the telltale signs your child might have it, who is most at risk, and the best treatments for croup. I am joined by Dr. Rachel Dawkins. She is the medical director of the Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine Clinic here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. And Dr. Dawkins, what exactly is the croup? Yeah, so croup is a common childhood virus. We commonly see it in kids three months to three years of age, and it causes a really scary barking cough or a musical cough and sometimes some respiratory distress, but it's caused by common viruses that children get. So who really is most at risk? I know you said like three months yeah. to three years, but why then? So in three months to three years old, um, kids have really small airways, and so croup is a swelling of the airways around the vocal cords or maybe just below. And so because their airways are a lot smaller, they're most affected by croup. So what are those telltale signs again that parents should look for and think maybe this is the croup? Yeah, so croup is just like any virus. It may start with a fever, 101, but croup fevers can get high like 104. And then you get that barking cough. It's worse at night. Um, sometimes you can get a sound called strider, which is kind of like a musical sound when the child breathes um, that can actually be quite scary. And kids may also have some respiratory distress. And it gets worse at night, so that's even worse for parents. Yes, yeah, so of course, you know, worse at night, especially, you know, the pediatrician's office is closed, you're not exactly sure um, what to do. So what is the treatment for it? If it's a virus, we know then probably antibiotics are not going to work yeah. and you're not going to prescribe those. What do you recommend parents do for their kids? So you're 100% right. So croup is a virus. Um, antibiotics won't work in this case. Supportive things are the best. So keep your child calm. That's number one. When they get all worked up, the musical sound or the respiratory stress sounds much worse. Um, one of the old wives' tales that I love to tell people is uh, take your child out in the cool night air. Of course, we don't really have a whole lot of cool night air here in Florida, but um, one of my tricks I tell people is go up to your freezer, open the door, and let your kid stand in front of it so they get that cool, moist air um, from the freezer. You can Ooh. also try a warm, steamy shower or a cool mist humidifier um, that might help. Uh, and of course, giving something for the fever if your child has fever, but otherwise keeping your child calm. Okay. If it's really bad or you're worried, um, your pediatrician may prescribe steroids, but again, no antibiotics for creep. Are there any points in time that you might need to call 911 or need to go ahead and get into your pediatrician's office? Yeah, so if your child's not getting better, if they're showing signs of respiratory distress, um, you know, or if they can't swallow uh, or breathe, you definitely want to be seen quickly. Any other tips on preventing illness, especially this time of year? Yeah, so this time of year, the best thing is really good hand washing. If your child has the croup, you know, try to keep them away from either other kids in your home or other places like daycare or maybe parks, church, all those things, um, because so they're not spreading that to everyone else. All right, Dr. Dawkins, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any topics you would like us to cover or talk to our experts about, you can just comment below right here on this video. We also have a lot of pediatric healthcare information on our website. That's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. Thanks for watching. We will see you next week.